guys welcome back to another Android studio tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to create a service by extending the indent service class so if you extend the indent service class you will get a default worker thread so there is no need to create a separate thread for the service and if you want to handle a single request at a time you can extend the indent service and if you want to handle multiple requests at the same time you have to extend the service class so here I am going to create a simple Android application that will demonstrate how to create a service by extending the indent service class so here we have two buttons the first one for start the service and second one for stop the service okay so now I'm going to create a new service so right click the package and create a new java class I name the class as my service and extends indent service okay so here you have to override a single method implement method you have to override this method on handle indent if you extend the indent service this is the only method you must implement on handle indent there is no need to implement on start command or on bind method because the indent service class will provide default implementation for all this method it will provide default implementation for on bind method with a with a return type null and it will provide the defa default implementation for the on start command okay so there is no need to override these methods the only method you must implement is on handle intent method click ok so here I implement that method on handle intent and here you need to provide a default constructor for this class so you have to create a constructor here create a constructor so this is the constructor with a string argument I remove that string argument so you here you have to call the superclass constructor with the worker thread name here you need to provide a name for the worker thread so if you extend the Indian service class there is no need to create a separate thread for the service it will by default there is a thread is available so there is no need to create a separate thread and this will help us to manage the application help us to avoid the application not responding error while working with the services so here I am going to provide a name for the worker thread I name it as my worker thread okay and within this method on handle indent here I am going to perform a long running pro process for that for that create a synchronized method with the current object okay so now declare some variables in count equal to zero start some while loop and specify a condition here count less than 10 okay now here I am going to uh, weigh the current object current thread into some milliseconds so use the weight method and provide some milliseconds here I am going to wait this for 50 seconds so 1500 into 10 15 seconds and we have to embed this in a try catch block so use a try catch block also update the value of count count by one increment value of count by one count plus plus okay so now this will sleep the current thread for 15 seconds and here there is no need to implement a separate thread because the Indian service class will provide a default background thread okay so now I'm going to override other two methods so if you extend the Indian service class there is no need to implement other other service lifecycle methods because the Indian service class will provide default implementation for all these methods 
but if you implement any of this method if you override any of that method you have to call the superclass method okay so now here I am going to override the on start command I override the first method on start command so I have to call the superclass version of that method so here I call the superclass version and here I print some message Those dot make text thread is started sorry service started okay now specify length for the toast toast don't make it into long and finally make it visible using show method okay also here I am going to override the on the slow method override the on the slow method here also you have to call the super class method and after that here I am going to print the message service stop okay and one more thing if you extend the Indian service class there is no need to implement a stop self because whenever the service finishes its job the Android system will automatically stop it if you extend the Indian service class but if you extend the service class you have to stop the service by implementing a stop self method within the service itself okay but here there is no need to implement the stop self method okay now we finish the coding on the service now we have to start the service so before that we have to add this service into the manifest file so open the android manifest.xml file and add a new service element with the name dot my service okay and also make the service private for this application by using the Android exported attribute make this one into false okay now we have to start the service so go to the main activity so if the user click the start service button this method will invoke so here we have to start the service so create an object of indent I name it as indent equal to new indent and specify the class name here the class name is my service dot class okay now we have to start the service so call the method start service with the indent object also you can stop the service before it finish so here I am going to stop the service by calling the stop service method okay so now we finished all the codings now we can test the application okay now here we have the application available on the virtual device now I'm going to start the service now the service is started also you can interact with the application because now the service is running on a background default worker thread and the main GUI thread is not interact with the service the service is now running on a separate thread and after 15 seconds now the service is finished also again I start the service now I can stop the service before it finishes now I stop the service I hope you understand the concepts about how to create a service by extending the Indian service class thank you for watching see you in the next episode